So for severe, like overbite or underbite, what are you doing? Well, many patients seek the care of their orthodontist when their teeth are either crowded, not so straight, or they just, their bite is not ideal. Most patients can be handled by the orthodontist and they can have a beautiful smile and a beautiful bite. Unfortunately, many patients, whether it's developmental or whether they've acquired a problem with their jaw development, may have a situation where their upper jaw is overdeveloped or underdeveloped or their lower jaw is underdeveloped or overdeveloped. Unfortunately, that creates a problem with the way their upper and lower jaw relate to each other, something that the orthodontist cannot fix. This is where orthognathic surgery or jaw surgery comes in. We work with the orthodontist and we surgically reposition those jaws into a proper position where they have a harmonious relationship with each other and they can restore their bite. So with an underbite, that means you're moving the upper forward or you're moving the lower back? Sometimes, or it depends. Sometimes it's a little bit of both and that's where proper diagnostics come into play. When we do this type of procedure, we spend hours with that patient in, in diagnosis alone. We not just photograph the patient, we do virtual imaging. Most, I would say 90% of my patients today are treated with virtual surgical planning, where we do their surgery on a computer before we even show up in the operating room. Okay. And we're able to very accurately and optimally plan that case based on their particular need. When we do a procedure like this, we may simply have to work on one jaw, but many times it's with two jaws. And in doing so, we're not just addressing their function and their bite, but we're looking to give them a better aesthetic result, better function for chewing, but we also look at their breathing. Many times, this type of procedure impacts the way they breathe or improves their breathing. And today, more and more of us are more aware of this thing called sleep apnea. Okay. This is a solution for most patients with that problem.